Well, I see a row of children. You named it child, so I see the child in the in the center bottom, looking up at what I see as a parent. Yeah, on the right, the right of the child, okay. the large figure. <clears throat> Yeah. And uh, we talked about how they were all naked on the bottom, like little naked children. And I thought the the um, one to the left of the child looked like a cherub because he was tiny and he looked like he had wings and he looked <laughs> naked. <laughs> yeah. So that's the cherub. Okay. And... Um, I talked about the first two figures on the left. One looks like a shadow, but they look like they're dancing or they could be doing a high five. Mm -hmm. Or they could be fighting, but I don't think it's a fighting atmosphere there. When you say the first two figures on the left, you mean the brown one and the blue one facing one another? Yes. Uh huh. The blue one looks like it's got a, looks like a dog's head. Mm -hmm. like a big nose and then the yeah. eye. Yeah. And then the mouth, do you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I really didn't look at the detail of those two figures. I just kind of like got an idea in my head that there was a hand sticking up in the air. <laughs> So I, 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 didn't see that. I just give myself a lot of leeway. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. So when I make the screen bigger, do you see it as bigger also? Yes, it's a cute dog. Yeah. There's the head of it, mm -hmm. with the eye and the mouth. Very cute. Yeah, I like that. And there's some red mailbox up there with a Oh, yeah, the mailbox. The hand sticking out of the right side of it. Yes. Out. <laughs> the face on the left side of it. Yeah. And there's one below it that's almost duplicate. It's another stroke, but yeah. you're pretty good about it. You must have just held your brush the same way. Yeah. Look at the figure to, um, it's the big brown figure above the child. Yes. And uh, do you see the face of it? Yes. It looks like. On the right. Yeah, has a nose. And then the, see the big eyebrow? That, yes. Like, and its eyelid, eyelid is closed. But you don't see the eye. You just see the, the lash. See what I mean, Catherine? Right there, all those tendrils are the eyelash. Oh. You're talking about the one right over the child, right? No. Above. When I do this, can you see that I'm focusing on that okay. brown figure? See, you're talking about the, the red one. Yeah. <clears throat> so I've made my screen, so that's all you should yes, see. Now I see the nose and the eyelash. Yeah, there's the nose and the, the eyelash. I do. I see all that. Okay. Yeah. Oops. And right across from her looks like a man's face. Yeah. This gray figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Sort of a shadowy figure. It's open like he's talking to her. Yeah. And the child's mouth is open too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you see the eye of the child there? Mm -hmm.
first I thought the child had a big belly sticking out, but I think I think that's part of the uh, that adult figure up above, uh-huh. and the, the, the child just has a slender body coming down. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> when it's further away, you can tell more easily that that's what it is. Yeah. When I click on it like that, Catherine, and it um, turns, it turns things blue. Let me see. Yeah. You're, you're, uh, that means your purse is on the picture. There. Does that make it look blue to you too? Oh yeah. Okay. That's where I'm trying to select it. All right. Just learning how to do this. It looks good right now. Yeah, I, I didn't click on it to select it. <clears throat> I like to <laughs> it smile because that that could cover you know incredibly large variety of trains of thought. And yeah, interpret it many many ways. Yeah, like it kind of left it open ended, didn't it? Mm-hmm. I just name it that. You have to figure out what the story is. Yes. Yeah, I was going to use another word after child to define it more specifically, but I decided to leave it out. Mm-hmm. What was the word? I forget. Um, what would it have been? Child. Um, no, I forget. What would another word be for you? If you, if it was like two words, child something, what would, what would you name it with a second word? Mm. I don't know. I'd probably name it mother and child. Yeah, mother and child, yeah. It's the brown figure. I've determined that that's a woman because of her eyelash and because yeah. of the crazy hair sticking up on top of her head. Yeah. And what is the the relationship that's going on there between the mother and child? Is it uh, what's the is it a a relationship of kind of benevolence? It, benevolence. That's yeah. Yeah. However, the the man is in there. Um, he's as a shadow almost, so he's yeah. not taking any kind of a um, for um, I don't want to say important because he's still important, but he's not interfering with the relationship between the mother and child at the moment. Yeah, he's just kind of <clears throat> watching. Yeah, although the mother's hand is really looks like she's touching. His hand, or oh. in there with her hand. I thought that was the mother's nose. Oh my goodness! Oh, Martin. <laughs> yeah, that's why you weren't you weren't seeing the eyebrow. So do you see now what I'm you seeing? Have the cursor. Uh, I know. Well, the that, that... nose now, but. I saw that as the hand. Yeah. And then you go up further. The first bump out you see is the nose. I see. And then the eyelash is the next thing you see. Yeah. And then what is that big arc with uh, that dark arc that extends halfway across that figure? Is what did you see that as? No idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I thought was the eyebrow. And that the hand was the nose. But it does make it different, doesn't it? I, I see what you were describing, and that's a that seems like a more uh, human figure. Mm-hmm. Whereas the one I was looking at looks like almost like an animal or a pig or something. I think the art could be her hair. Yeah, could be. That's what I thought too. <clears throat> yeah, it makes her smile. Her smaller also, 
doesn't make her fill up that hole. Space. Right. Uh -huh. And it kind of looks like a skirt down here. Yeah. But doesn't it look like if that's the hand, it looks like she's like writing something or sewing something or touching uh -huh. yeah. this hand. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned that before. I, I see that now too. And maybe she's telling her child a story about his father. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that the father may be not, may be, uh, not really there, but that's just a memory or mm -hmm. the story is bringing him to the child's imagination. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's it kind of looks like they're all in a row. They could possibly be watching a big movie. Yeah. And is the movie this way or is it that way? Are they looking back at the movie or are they looking they're forward? Looking forward at the movie. They're, it's the backs of their heads. Okay, so by forward you mean to the uh, back of the painting. Looking at their head, the backs of their heads. Okay, and so they're looking, they're looking at the back of the painting. No. Um, when you look at the small figures, you're seeing the backs of their heads. Yeah, when that's you look what at I thought too. Up top, you're seeing mostly the front of their heads. Okay, and where's the movie, or is that the movie? That, that's the movie, but it doesn't have to be. No, yeah, I see it now. They're looking at that movie. So maybe that that mother and father there are, are part of the movie that that, that child is watching. Right. They're, the child is watching that interaction mm -hmm. on the movie rather than in real life. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good, Kath. I like that. So it's it's like they're again they're an audience or they're on us, mm -hmm. they're in they're an audience looking at a movie. Yeah, and they're grounded on this floor. Yeah. Oh, you can't yeah. see my cursor. I see the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I love the tendrils coming out of the left side of the floor. Yeah. Yeah. That's. <laughs> That's really uh, prolific. <laughs> All right.